Hey everybody, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin, and we're here showcasing an old ruler from Force of Will. Uh, he is a bit back there um, from this, the Magic Stone Wars set. He's pretty fun to play. He's a little odd because <clears throat> he does not have a backside. His name, our boy, is Wolfgang the Exiled Demon Prince, and we're playing the, the Great Old Ones. So, the deck is pretty straightforward and simple. It's a whole lot of Cthulhu dudes. I didn't want to do the whole just play the same dude and win combo, even though you can still technically do that, because that's just... It's too dangerous and gimmicky. Like, you don't really want to do that. So I just put in a lot more, like, control aspects slash, like, the long game. Uh, so our first boy is Abdul al Hazred, the Possessed. He is one black for a 3-3. At the end of turn, destroy all J Resonators, attack two or less, and Awakening. He enters, remove all counters from J Resonator your opponent controls. Then J Resonator your opponent controls, gain minus eight, minus eight. And the reason they're so good with this dude is so our Wolfgang, all he does is he says, you can only have Darkness cards and Cthulhu cards in your deck. You may put a Madness counter on this card rather than pay an Awakening counter, awakening cost of a Cthulhu spell you control. So any Resonator, any spell, whatever. At the end of turn, if there are five or more Madness counters on this card, you lose the game. So. You gotta make sure you watch what you're doing, but you get to play free extra spells, essentially. Uh, so you get the one spell and then you get extra of this spell with Awakening. So like, Abdul, Abdul costs one black and a Madness counter, and you remove all counters from all J Resonance your opponent's control, and then they get minus eight. So it's pretty sweet just to be like, hey cool, kill the board. Um, we also have next, <clears throat> the Gatekeeper of the Outer World. He is red and a black for a 4-4. Four, four. If a fire chain you control will deal damage, it deals that much plus four. He gains uh, Darkness Chance, gain Drain, and then enter. Surge your deck for Cthulhu, reveal it, put it in your hand. Reshuffle this deck. If this card is Awakened, produce a Red and a Black. So when he enters, he searches, and if it's Awakened, you also get the Red and the Black. So it's kind of cool. You don't have to Awaken it to do that, but he still is really, really good for just searching out things. Um, next is Satan's Phantasmal Body. He has a Red and a Black. Split card with Flame of the Outer World. Uh, enter, you remove two Madness Counters. There to protect you. And when you're searching your deck, you can play this card from the deck for, bang, for paying its cost, and you can play either side. And then the bottom part is Flame of the Outer World, which is a red and a black quick cast. This deals 800 damage to target J Resonator. Players cannot chase this card. So it's either a kill spell if you need it to be, or remove counters, which is what you want. Uh, we also have the Bringer of War in the other tap. Uh, black and a red, 8-4, Precision. Whenever this card destroys a Resonator, put two counters on it. Awakening for two black, or black and a red. Destroy up to two J Resonators. Your opponent controls. They cannot chase this ability. So two mana. Enter with Awakening and Madness. You get to kill two dudes and get counters. Pretty simple. Pretty safe, straightforward to make him pretty strong. Uh, one of the major win cons is Yog sototh the True Hunger. He is a red and a blue for a 0-10. Cthulhu's you control gain Swiftness. And then enter. This, this card gets 1,000 until the end of turn if this was Awakened. Resonators you control get a thousand and pierce so when you awaken this you get to be like I'm gonna win the game Because he already gained swiftness for everything and then he gains them all pierce in a thousand uh, Next up is Umar Atwil, the key master of outer world uh, He is a red black and a blue for an 8-8 you can remove from your hand to cast a, to get a red blue or black to only play Cthulhu's and you can play him from your removed area and if you pay his awakening you put a resonator from your opponent's graveyard into the field under your control. So you get to be like, hey cool, play free dude. Give me your dude. And it's pretty sweet. And then finally the major card to talk about is Necronomicon, the Book of the Outer World. Red, blue, black. Uh, if you're playing Young Wolfgang Exiled Demon Prince, which we are, it costs a red and a blue less. And then non-J resonator enters your opponent's control, lose all enter abilities, so like any stones lose abilities, any additions lose abilities, anything like that. Regalia, all that. Resonators will still get them, but all the others do not. Uh, Cthulhu's you control gain plus four, plus four. So it's just there to be like, hey, cool, get this real early. Don't do things with your inter-triggers. Um, and then we're also just having other cards to help fill out. So we have Fallen Angel of Black Tears to kill things. Uh, Nyalatep, the Crimson Radiance, is a really funny awakening just to do help kill things. Uh, Persephone counters things it's your it's your lorite essentially but since you can only play darkness you have to have it and then which of the fallen kingdoms to stop them from searching so your life is simpler uh we have alvarez the true demon castle to minus their board to help you with abdul to kill things and dark sun helps kill things and then the stones are really simple we're playing fire moon's fragment which is red black uh 4c stone 
uh, Magic Stone of Knowledge, Magic Stone of Moonshade, and then the Magic Stone of the Demonic World, which adds a red, blue, or black, but only for double colors of red or black or blue. Overall, though, this deck is really, like, really simple and straightforward because it's just Cthulhu's and, like, Awakening stuff. So it's going to be interesting to see what it can do. Uh, for the deck list, guys, check it out down below, and we'll see you all again next time. Goodbye. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, guys, and hit that like, and then also click that bell so you get all the updates and notifications on our channel. And then send us any comments down below so we make sure we get them. And just to remind you that we are actually streaming on Twitch now where we do all our deck brawls and also video game content. And also remind you that we do have a Patreon and we like to go ahead and thank the Mythic and Above Patreons. So thank you, Ryan. Thank you. We love you. Boom.